Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to cover my Sodalus Connector Revision 3 models. Um, my Rev 2 models have been out for quite some time. They've been really a, a big success, but I'm always trying to tweak things and listen to any feedback I get. One of the uh, big differences from this model from Rev 2 is that I've added a neoprene grommet to the actual connector itself. And you can see here, you actually run your leads through the rubber grommet and the rubber grommet actually will be pinched, creating a stress relief. Now, prior to that, on the Rev2 model, all of our leads for our motor are on one side. You can see I've also separated them from being on one side and put two on one side and two on the other. And the main reason I did that is because it's much easier for clearance on your jack screws here. So you can see I left off the stress relief compressor. It's right here. You would simply then just come in here my hands are probably in the way for the camera, which is okay. This is just a quick demo. You do not need to put a lot of torque on these screws to compress the leads. The idea, and you can see how nice that is, and what that does, of course, with the stress relief vibration on your machine, because I've listened to past clients where they say that you know the screws can come loose and whatnot, these will not come loose. First of all, they're self-tapping, Phillips screws. On top of the fact, they will no longer be threaded from the bottom where you have to actually thread from the bottom on the Rev 2. These are now threaded right inside the connector, utilizing again that neoprene grommet. You could see here I'm pulling on this pretty tough and there's no movement. Um, once again, as far as leads go with my motors, again, polarities for my motors, uh, you've got six over here, seven on the terminal block, eight over here, and nine on the terminal block. Once again, on my motors, six is B minus. Yellow is B plus, which is seven. Uh, eight is A minus, and red is A plus. Okay, and that would be for pin nine, because I do get a lot of questions on that. Six is used, seven is used on the terminal block, eight is used on the terminal block, and nine is used. And once again, six is B minus, seven is B plus, eight is A minus, and nine is A plus. Okay, and then over here, you can see five and one, that's for your resistor. Okay, and once again, the resistor sits in that little pocket right up here, and I did that intentionally once again because you have plenty of clearance on the height on the actual uh, nylon lid, but um, it also gets, gives you a little more room on the side to where that resistor is present. You can always double check and see it a little easier. So then you just come in, close them up, and you're ready to go. And these, the jack screws simply screw in, and you've got a real nice motor lead. You're all set. So again, guys, I thank you for your support. I hope this video is helpful. Take care.